Hey guys, this is Brandon from Row Robotics. Welcome back to another Visual Components video. This time, I'll be sharing about what are the properties of a component, how to create new properties, and how to use them within the transform expression. First, we import a component named Generic Storage Shelf into the 3D world. A component properties panel will appear on the right side, showing all the properties which could be manipulated. Then, we'll head to the modeling tab, then select properties. We can see that there are various types of properties here which could be added to the component. The commonly used ones here are the real and integer properties. So both property types are used to assign a numeric value to a certain variable. To understand more about the usage of the rest of the properties, be sure to check out the help document which could be accessed through the help tab. Now it's time to create our own property for a component. Head to the modeling tab, the component graph on the left side will have a component named generic storage shell shown in the list. Expand the properties, we can see 5 variables which are the width, length, height, dot count and the number of support beams of the shell. To add a new property, click on properties and select a property type to add. So for this video, we will select real as the property type. The added property will appear in the component graph. Click on the new added property. We will rename the new property as new value. Then we can select the quantity and the units to be used for this property. In this video, we will select distance for the quantity and we'll leave the magnitude in millimeters as it is. So to start up, we'll key in 500 for the value. Alright, now I'll be showing you how to use the newly created property in the transform expressions. So there are various expressions which the new property can be involved. So I'll be guiding you guys to change the expressions one by one. The idea is to replace the variable shelf height with the new created variable. So first, we'll expand the root and click on Linear Clone 2. Select Support and change the Shelf Height to New Value. Moving on, expand Transform. Select Rare Support and change the expression. Last one, we'll select Linear Clone, change the step expression to new value. Now we head back to the Home tab. We can see that the new property will appear in the Component Properties panel. Change the value to 2000 and we can see the shelf changes its height according to the new value. Besides the height, we can also manipulate the length and the width of the shelf. Similar to the previous process, just go through each expression which has the variable shelf length and replace it with new value. So here we'll key in some random values to see the changes. As we set the value to the original value of shelf length, the shell will return to its original look. The same method goes for changing the width of the shelf. As for the values of the preset variables shelf height, shelf length, and shelf width, for each situation will no longer affect the component as they were removed from the expression. And that's pretty much everything I wanted to share with you guys in this video. I'll talk about the various types of property which could be added to a component, 
how to create a property and how to use the property on a component. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.